Hi, today I'll briefly explain the BBL for quantum key distribution protocol. Uh, first of all, Bob lives on Earth and Alice live, lives on Mars. Uh, they wanted to do secure communication with the sharing quantum keys. Uh, for the secure quantum key distribution, uh, Bob creates a random string A and B. Each string has the full n number of two random bits. Uh, based on random bit in the string, uh, Bob randomly creates the encoded quantum state he sends to Alice. Uh, for example, uh, if random bit in the string B is zero, Bob uh, choose the Z basis for encoding, then zero in the string A is included in a qubit uh, zero. If random bit in the string B is one, uh, he choose the he, he choose the X basis, then uh, zero in the in the string A is included in a qubit plus. Uh, similarly, uh, Bob choose uh, Z basis. Uh, if one in the string A is included in uh, qubit one. Uh, also, if random string in the string B is one, uh, he choose the X basis for encoding, then one in the string A is encoded in a qubit minus. Uh, similar manner, Bob creates the full n number of qubits. At the, at the end of the encoding processes, uh, Bob has a quantum state kept psi. Then Bob sends uh, this state to Alice through a public quantum communication channel between them. Uh, an Eve can Eve drops on each qubit in the state in the state during the data transmission of the quantum channel, but Eve cannot distinguish between two non-orthogonal quantum states, and her Eve dropping implies a disturbance to the signal. So later on, Bob and Alice can find any noise or eavesdropping to the signal. Once Alice received the signal from Bob, she also creates the random string B prime uh, to decide which basis she use for measurement, uh, measurement the quantum state. For example, if random bit in the string B prime is one, Alice choose the uh, X basis for her measurement. If random bit is uh, zero, Alice choose the Z basis for her measurement. Then Alice measures each qubit in a randomly selected basis zero or X. After her measurement, Alice will get a string A prime of measurement outcomes. At this point, Bob announced uh, his random string B to Alice over an authenticated public classical channel. Once Alice received the string B, they discuss which bit uh, is not equal in their random string B and B primes. Over the discussion, they decide which bit is not equal to each other. Now Bob and Alice decide the corresponding bit in their string A and B, A and A prime. Then both discard each bit in their found in A and A prime because they use the different bases. So Bob and Alice each have remaining, remained the string LB and LA. In theory, the length of each remained string is close to 2N uh, with a very high probability. Now Bob randomly select half of his string and send it to Alice. Then they check the level of noise or eavesdropping in their quantum communication. If the level of noise or eavesdropping is not acceptable, they abort the protocol and restart it. Otherwise, if the test passes, Bob and Alice each have the n number of the remaining uh, uh, string k tilde b and k tilde a. Both Bob and Alice apply information reconciliation and privacy application on the remaining n bits to obtain uh, m shared key bit uh, KB and KA. The, the, the two steps are to remove the inaccurate, inaccurate bits and then reduce Eve's knowledge of the shared key to an 
arbitrary small value. Once Bob and Alice share the key, they send a secure message by a one-time pad encryption and decryption. Uh, this is brief introduction to BB84 quantum key distribution protocol. Uh, thank you for listening. God bless you.